I'm getting on the floor to film videos, it's not fun. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I thought we could talk about the medications that I take for my schizoaffective disorder. So let's talk about my medication. I take clonazepam twice a day and I take clonazepam to help with my anxiety and to keep me on that calm side. Like, you don't need me, you're bouncing. I need a drink. I can't reach it. Oh. So yeah, I take clonazepam because it calms me down and I need that because honestly I have, I have a tendency to get manic quite easily because I have schizoaffective bipolar type. Mania comes in when I don't take my meds and it's pretty bad. Every time I've been manic, so that's come out of harm. Then I take lithium, which stabilises my mood. Because again, I'm bipolar type, so my mood. Is, and I also have EPD, so my mood is pretty unstable. I say BPD because I hate the term EUPD. Emotionally unstable personality disorder. I take lithium because it stabilises my mood and it really helps with suicidal thoughts. I'll try and link the case study in the description down below that proves that lithium can actually help relieve suicidal thoughts. Honestly, I started taking lithium and suddenly I wasn't suicidal anymore. It was literally an overnight change and honestly, I'm grateful for it because I was chronically suicidal and I was making attempts every day while I was in hospital and I uh, started lithium and I was just fine so yeah lithium saved me honestly next we have haloperidol haloperidol is a first generation antipsychotic now I've been on other antipsychotic medications and they've not worked out for me which is why I take haloperidol now haloperidol isn't often used anymore because it is a first generation antipsychotic. People are more likely to be on quetiapine, alanzapine, well, you know, like the newer antipsychotics. So what does haloperidol do for me? One, it keeps my psychosis managed. Now I do have the odd hallucination here and there and I do hallucinate seeing figures running across my room, which is not pleasant because they scare the living daylights out of me. But hey, what are you gonna do? But it does level, it does decrease the amount of hallucinations that I have. So again, don't know where I'd be without it. It also keeps my mania at rest because it's not sedating; it's just calming for me at least. I don't find haloperidol sedating. So that's haloperidol. The next one I take is the next one that I take is vortioxetine. I take Vortioxetin because it's an antidepressant and honestly I struggle more with depression than I do with mania. My mood is generally very low so it just picks it up a little bit. The one side effect I cannot stand with it is when it makes me throw up because I throw up all my meds, which I need. Do sleep. So I don't recommend Vortioxetin but it's the only one that's ever helped me, so I also do recommend it. Swings and roundabouts. The next medication is trazodone. Now I take trazodone at 50 milligrams for sleep. Technically speaking, it is an antidepressant, but I'm not on the antidepressant dose. But yeah, trazodone works really well for me when it comes to sleep. I fall asleep within about an hour of taking it. Some nights. Some nights I don't fall asleep for a couple of hours after taking it, but it depends on a lot of things, like what time I take it. The, next, the last medication that I want to talk about is lorazepam. Now my lorazepam is prescribed PRN, so that's take when needed, and I don't take it every day. I take it when I'm going out because I have very severe anxiety. and. Honestly, without it, I couldn't leave the, I couldn't leave the house. So there is that. But these medications all help with my schizoaffective disorder. 
in a way that they all keep me calm, they get, keep reduce the chances of mania, they help me with my suicidal thoughts, they help me with hallucinations, and it just generally helps me out. So yeah, thank you for watching, and like I said at the start, if you're new, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.